My name is Eduardo and I'm from Mapillary and it's our objective to create a photo representation of the world. We want you to be able to explore anywhere in the world using photos uh, and to be able to understand that area as well. You might be familiar with the traditional approach thus far, which has been to have a big expensive rig, one that is often more uh, expensive than the car it sits upon. Um, but we wanted to build upon this approach um, and make it more accessible. We wanted to make it quicker. Um, and this is what you see here. So this is Google Maps on the left, Mapillary on the right. One guy with his smartphone has been able to uh, comprehensively photo map his area. Uh, which we think is pretty exciting. So we want to build a community around this, make it so that anyone with a smartphone, with an action camera, or 360 cameras, which are becoming even more affordable, can contribute photos. Um, so this approach enables a lot more organisations to come in, and as I said, we're really excited about what we can achieve with just simple tools in 90% of, of scenarios. So the other important thing, I think, is crowdsourcing for many people is at an individual level we, we think of. I often think of like some guy at home writing a Wikipedia article about Spider-Man or something like that, but it extends well beyond that. Um, there's a lot of uh, talk about what government data is already available, what company data is already available, and what NGOs are doing. And we want to take all that data related to photos and we want to put it in the same place. Um, and when you put that data together, often you can find it helps each other. And I'll talk a bit more about that later on. But as I've been talking about, we've been building a community around this. So what you see here is our ambassadors, people in different countries who understand how photo mapping can help their area and who are encouraging that. But I want to share the story of Map Lesotho to kind of talk more specifically about how photos can help. Uh, this is a project to map Lesotho, as the name suggests, and the reason being that currently maps are either really expensive in Lesotho or they don't have the accuracy that they need. So urban planners in Lesotho have partnered with Fingal County Council in Ireland to open street map, to use open street map to map the country. And we've got involved by providing equipment and uh, enabling them to photo map the area uh, we also sent Oscar there in February to talk about ways in which street level imagery can help the country. And they've done a really good job in photo mapping the country. If you look at the base map of Lesotho now, it's actually really impressive. They map most roads, buildings, uh, cities. But we're at phase, uh, phase three now, which is getting that level of detail which Selena showed earlier in Manila, where you can see uh, the quality of the road. You can see what type of buildings there are there existing. Um, and make the map not just useful for urban planners, but useful for citizens. Uh, I'm also going to talk now about the objects that we can detect. And this is something that can be used in crisis mapping to, um, to automate and use machine learning to, uh, to understand very quickly the situation in an area. That's traffic sign detection. Um, here you can see how two different photos can be overlaid. These photos were obviously taken at the same time, but we can overlay photos that were taken decades apart, which is really exciting. So as I mentioned, photos from governments, photos from individuals, they can be put together. And we do this by using a point cloud. We create a point cloud that becomes more and more dense uh, the more photos that are contributed. We're working now on dense matching to make point clouds that are close to LiDAR, not as good as LiDAR, but still serve a lot of use cases. And finally, semantic segmentation. So this is where we can detect individual objects, uh, go in and add classes. People who have maybe new things that they're interested in can then go into Mapillary and add them. If you care about potholes, for example, or where, which part of the street is prone to flooding, you can add that in and teach our machine learning algorithms uh, how to detect those things that we should consider. Uh, but ultimately, the only uh, barrier to using Mapillary is your imagination. So download the app, try it in your communities, and we'd be really excited to see how you could use it for crisis mapping. Thank you.